see everybody today. I um, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, who we are, what we do, how we do it, and our market. So Debbie Highlander and I met about a year and a half ago. I helped her with a strategic plan. We got to know each other. We decided to merge our businesses together the first of the year. So her name is Debbie Highlander. She's a certified public accountant. She has a little over 10 years of public accounting experience. She's also a certified tax coach. And so what that means is she can look at your tax returns and see if you overpaid your taxes. And if you ever pay, she can suggest a ways for you to reduce your tax bill. Uh, we have two part-time CPA, uh, CPAs now. Uh, Angela used to be a member of this chapter. Uh, and then uh, another lady who uh, plans to join our firm full-time in May. Uh, Connie McShane is a member of another B&I chapter, and she is our QuickBooks Pro expert. So she does, she's in charge of bookkeeping and accounting, um, and that is more of a monthly uh, service that we provide uh, small businesses. Uh, we have uh, Helen and Brooke, and they uh, set up new clients, um, help keep the office organized, help keep Debbie ha happy. If, you, if any of you have met Debbie, she's a redhead, so we just keep uh, her happy as much as possible, which means if she's having a problem with a particular client, then we've got to figure out how to, how to resolve that. So she really runs the show in the office. Um, and then my role as a business manager at Highlander is, uh, I'm, I'm sort of the glue, I guess. I do a little bit of business development. I look at our processes and try to figure out if we can improve our cost structure, which means reduce our cost increase our revenue, get cash in there quicker. Uh, I greet clients if they come in the door and nobody's sitting at the front desk. I help make copies, buy supplies. So I, I kind of, I'm, I'm learning a lot at this point and refreshing my background in accounting. I have a, a, a bachelor's in accounting. I'm not crazy about debits and credits and Latrice will probably agree with this, is when you're in banking, uh, a debit, is different from an accounting debit so I always have to think exactly opposite of what the accounting rules are in terms of debits and credits so when you make a bank deposit on the bank side that's a credit but when an increase in cash on your balance sheet is actually a debit so that that I struggle with and uh, let Debbie do that um, we started uh, working together in November of 2014. We had four <coughs> employees, and now we have uh, seven. Seventy percent of our business is tax work. About 20 percent of our business is monthly accounting work. So we do bookkeeping, billing. Um, uh, we pay bills. We invoice, financial reporting. About 5% of our business right now is strategic planning and, and business planning, which is mostly what I do if I have billable hours. And then 5% of our business is IRS um, input negotiations. So if you've ever gotten a letter that from the IRS, and maybe you've gotten two or three letters and you just chose to not read it because it was too scary and you didn't respond, and then the third letter says your bank account and all your assets will be leaned in an amount of $235,000 for back taxes that you know you paid on time but so that's when some people call us on that third letter and say help me and, and that's what Angela does so she will call the IRS and find out exactly what they are looking for and if they have made a mistake then we try to fix it and if our client needs to do something then we help them come up with a plan and negotiate with the IRS. So this, this number is actually growing, and then this number would be growing. And then our tax consulting business is something we're focusing on. So how we provide these services is we meet one-to-one. -one. The first hour is complimentary, so there's no charge. 
if you were a new client, you'd come in and we'd sit down and go through your uh, tax returns sometimes, or we, we would discuss what's on your mind and what's keeping you up at night. And then we would suggest solutions, give you a, a fee schedule. And then from that point, you can upload information into uh, the cloud. We use cloud9.com. Uh, we use bill.com to make payments, bill payments, and invoice online. Um, I use Dropbox to gather documents to do uh, business planning and strategic planning with the client so they can see everything that we're doing and make edits to documents that I, I can also make edits to. So we have annual income that primarily comes from tax returns this time of the year and then again in September and October. We have monthly income from accounting. Uh, mainly small businesses say <coughs> folks that have between 5 and 25 employees. We uh, file all their tax returns, whether it's sales tax, uh, franchise and excise tax, income tax, unemployment tax, state tax, federal tax. Um, and then we do project work. So the project work would be the business planning and strategic planning where we might do a one-time consulting and then come back the next year and do, you know, do another review. Um, any questions at this point? You do have a handout if you'll just take a quick look and then I'll, we can talk about my sunshine. Uh, I've provided a brochure. Uh, this business entity comparison chart is re really helpful if you're thinking about starting a business or if you know of someone you can hand them this chart and say, you know, these are the main legal entities and some of the features that go along with those entities. And then that usually drives your tax bill and it drives how you take money out of the, the business in the future. It has a huge, you can, you can change things after the fact. It usually costs you to change. So if you're going to um, form a business, uh, make the best decision on the front end. So this is a chart that is very helpful. And then I've provided the mailer that we sent all of our tax clients. We have about a little over 200 tax clients. So we send them a tax organizer. And this is a form that people can use to pull together information to complete this year's taxes. It helps us as a, an accounting firm to know what's on their mind, if there were any changes. So if you were a client last year, you get your previous year information and then you, a place to put current year information and then you, you would uh, return this along with an engagement letter and all those shoe boxes full of tickets and credit card statements and bank statements, hopefully you have those, and uh, financial reports if you own a business, P&L if you own rental property. So all of that detail, anal stuff, that's what Debbie does. Uh, Debbie and her, a lot of people who work with her. And I did forget to mention this S stands for Shannon. She is our <coughs> IT consultant, and we do call her whenever we need her. And and lately it's been, you know, once or twice a week, so she's been very helpful. Uh, we're getting ready to probably pay for a new sonic wall, which Debbie's very, we are very cautious uh, about privacy and confidentiality and security. And so that's a $1,200 price tag maybe that we have not planned on. So we're going to rely on Shannon to know when we absolutely have to purchase that and still have the security that we need. So my, um, I mentioned in my 62nd uh, real estate investor, do you have any ideas about who I uh, could connect with because I'm looking for somebody who owns multiple properties? A financial planner. Financial planner is one of those guys. Okay. Right. Real estate attorneys. Any members of the uh, big uh, organization that's a Memphis Investor Group. Mm -hmm. Property manager. We, we do get some referrals from other accounting firms that have missed something, or uh, these guys are too much trouble for them to, to uh, 
service. So we get quite a few from the internet and then from um, accounting firms in the area and then word of mouth, our customers. And then we do some direct mail. So thank you very much. Thank you.